season high and team high 21 points last time in a comeback win against UC Riverside. Taylor for three and puts the Mustangs in the scoring column. Well, a little credit there to a drive and a replace. When you look at uh, the big fella in, in Kobe Sanders, he made a good play. Well, right now for the Mustangs is, well, here's, here's your primary touch, okay? And Karoma has the response for Cal Poly. Well, the field goal plus the foul. And seven. Fleming played very well off the bench at Pacific. 12 points. And there's TJ Taylor. Man, slow down on this decision making. Going right at the Brazilian Malik Wade. Penn Johnson flips it up and it bounces in. Well, you will take that patience. That was a beautiful job for him not to travel. Spent last season at last chance you, East Los Angeles College. Batting off the bounce, runs into Penn Johnson, and that's an offensive foul. Well, he blocks more shots than he draws charges, but just the bounce to be in the right spot. Go to the rim one more time. There well, it is. Why not? Instead of wraparound pass to Hunter. Book it. Cam Pierce back in the game. On a bounce to Alamami Karoma. Backing down Malik Way, the double team comes. He finds an open chance, Hunter, and he buries the three. Colin. Inevitably, close games are won on the free throw line. I like when Taylor goes left here. Yep. Count it, and one. Give him one on the house. TJ Taylor with the shot clock expiring. Pluck and back. probe against Karoma, putting him in the ball screen action. If you're going to switch that, which I don't think Smith wants entirely, Ball screen roll, in co uh, roll coverage for the Mustangs right now, a predicament. Chance Hunter pull up, and it's good. Yeah, hugely important to stem the tide there. Taylor and Hunter could not get it to him. Shot clock into single figures. Brantley Stevenson underneath the foul line, hangs in the air and floats it in. They run wide chance. Oh, just a tough pass leading to dribbles. Stevenson attacks again. Fades away again and scores again. Of that It leads to the domino effect of missed weak side offensive rebounds. Good stance there for this Mustang stop. Karoma lets it go and buries the three. When he's where Stevenson's got to come in and force actions of movement to find Karoma the ball. Karoma's feeling it. Hits another. Again, guards can create for bigs in a variety of ways, but some lower that shoulder. These are the minutes where you can chug a little clock and then still play through Karoma. Stevenson on a bounce. Karoma reverse off the glass and good. Well, how about Stevenson with that play in order to corral the down Brantley? It's just misdirection to try to get the ball to Karoma. It's not there. Swing, swing. Keep playing through him. Stevenson late in the clock finds Sanders up top and he buries the three. The redrive action creates defensive imbalance, and when you throw it back unselfishly to a guy uncontested, it's supposed to go in. Three seconds separate the shot clock from the game clock, and Rick Croy will call off the Lancers. So Cal Poly, they erase a second half deficit at Mata Athletic Center. And the Mustangs, for the first time in five years, will have pieced together three consecutive non-conference victories, and this one might be the most impressive it of really the three-game stretch. Well, especially Cal Baptist style, as well as who they played and beat. Uh, there's an energy in this team right now that is, as Coach John Smith said, he wished they could have played Pepperdine the other evening. They felt really good about the win at Pacific. They came back, grinded that one out. And tonight, they take care of business against California Baptist. 64-53, a third straight win for Cal Poly. And the Mustangs are over 500. Four wins, three losses through seven games. Well, how about 20?